Hello again, guys. Welcome to another episode of Learn the TOEFL the Easy Way with me, Teacher Fish. Today, we are going to talk about another reading section question type called Negative Factual Information. This question type is similar to Factual Information question, except that it is the reverse. Like Factual Information, Negative factual information question also requires you to understand facts that are stated in the passage. This question type also asks about details, definitions, explanations, or other forms of data. In this manner, it is similar to factual information question. However, negative factual information question asks you to identify incorrect information. The answer choice with the incorrect information is the right answer for this question. Now let's look into some examples of how a negative factual information question may appear on the test. It may be asked as, According to the passage, which of the following is not true of blank? Or, the author's description of blank mentions all of the following except. Notice that the words NON and EXCEPT are in all caps. This is exactly how negative factual information questions would appear on the test. These capitalized words will also be your guide to avoid confusion between factual and negative factual information questions. So now, let us look into some tips that would make it easier to answer a negative factual information question. First, always focus on the facts that are mentioned in the passage. Like what I have mentioned on my previous lesson, this may sound difficult because most of the passages in the reading section are factual. To compound the issue, remember that we are looking for a piece of information that is incorrect because, again, this false information is the answer to this question. But don't lose hope, guys. Here is something you can do to make it easier to answer a negative factual information question. While reading the passage, take note of each paragraph's main point or topic. This way, it would be easier and faster to locate the detail that the question asks. The second tip would be, do not trust your memory to answer these questions properly. Remember that most passages have a large amount of details. Instead, go back to the paragraph where the question leads you to confirm the information that you need. Next, and probably the most important tip I can give you is to read not only the answer choices, but also the question itself very, very carefully. A common mistake of test takers is they tend to overlook this type of question and mistakenly think that it is a factual information question. Remember, the word NOT or EXACT is in all caps, so there should be no way to misunderstand the question. Lastly, remember that the correct answer is often the opposite of the information that appears in the passage. In some occasions, the correct answer may contain information that is not included in the passage. And in some instances, the correct answer may be a true statement but may refer to something else in the passage rather than the topic of the question. So let us try to use the tips I gave you in answering a negative factual information question. Here is a part of a reading passage. Among nature's most unusual mammals are marsupials. Kangaroos are the most well-known species. Others among them are opossum and wombats. For the most part, marsupials reside in North America and Australia. The manner in which they give birth is what sets them apart from other mammals. When most mammals give birth, their babies are fully developed. Many, such as human babies, are helpless, but they can survive in the outside world. 
This is not the case for marsupials. At birth, they are extremely undeveloped. So marsupial females have a pouch in which their young remain and continue to develop outside the womb. Inside the pouch, the young stay attached to their mother's teeth, which nourishes them. After they develop, they leave the pouch. However, many often return there to seek both safety and to move from place to place with their mother. Question. The author's description of marsupials mentions all of the following except A. They include kangaroos, opossum, and wombats. B. Females have pouches for their young to stay in. C. They live everywhere except America and Australia. And D. The young that they give birth to are undeveloped. Can you tell me the correct answer? If you chose C, then you are correct. Let us find out why. Answer choice C is the only statement in the passage that is not mentioned. The statement in choice C is actually the exact opposite of what appears in the passage. Look at this part again. It reads, marsupials live in America and Australia. While answer choice C claims that they live elsewhere except for those two places. This makes letter C an incorrect statement. Choices A, B, and D are all correct statements in the passage, so they should not be chosen. So guys, we've reached the end of our lesson about a reading section question, negative factual information. I hope that after the lesson, you would now find it easier to answer negative factual information questions. Please do not hesitate to ask questions by leaving them on the comments section, and I will do my best to answer them promptly. Remember, the TOEFL is not difficult if you know what to do. I have also uploaded some practice exercises here on my channel for you to sharpen your TOEFL skills. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, press like, and turn on the notif bell so that you'd be informed whenever I upload a new lesson or practice exercises. With that, see you again on the next episode of Learn the TOEFL the Easy Way with Teacher Fish. Have a great day, everyone!